I'm Leah Louise from Inspired Quilting by Leah Louise. Welcome to my sewing room and thanks so much for being here. Today I want to talk to you about how to cut a pair of blue jeans for quilting. We're going to take a look at how to cut those blue jeans up in order to make uniform size blocks for the quilt that you want to make and before you know it you're going to have your own quilt ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you how to cut those blue jeans. In order to get the most out of our jeans, we want to start with the legs. The largest blocks will come from the largest piece of fabric. So with the zippers facing down, we're going to straighten out our legs. And I'll start with this one here. And we're going to lay it out flat, get out any big wrinkles. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the hem off here. If they're particularly thick and hard and your scissors won't go through, just go through one layer at a time on the hem. But when you're cutting a pair of jeans, I recommend that you only cut one layer, or excuse me, one pair of jeans at a time and one layer of fabric at a time because otherwise you're going to um, lose unnecessary fabric. The back facing up, we're going to go to the outside seam and we're going to sew to the back side. So this is the front and this is the back. So we're going to cut up along the seam on the back side because the back of the leg is cut larger than the front. So this piece is going to be just a bit wider. Now we want to leave at least an inch and a half below our pocket. So go ahead and turn your jeans making sure you're only cutting through a single layer and cut across to that center seam all the way over. So now you've got plenty of room around your pocket to work with. We're going to cut right around that center seam to where the legs join. Go across that joining seam up towards the zipper. Now you'll probably only get to about half an, uh, uh, half an inch within the zipper and that's fine. So from here we're going to cut across, I'll probably go up just a little more because I want to come across to where I, I cut before. So when I, you notice how I'm lifting this front layer of fabric up that way I'm not catching anything underneath by mistake. So I now have a leg cut off from my jean. And look at that great piece of fabric that we have. So see how the back of the leg is wider and the front of the leg is a bit narrower. That's how we're going to be um, determining our block size later. But for right now, let's go ahead and get these uh, leg pieces cut. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the second one right here and once we do that come on back and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay so here's our leg fabric and we're going to begin to cut blocks. I work with rectangles because they're simple. They require fewer seams. I can offset those seams so we don't have any knotting where those four corners would otherwise um, line up. So I prefer to do it this way and I'm going to show you how to cut rectangles. We're going to turn this to the underside or to the back side and I'm going to cut right along this inner seam. And this is where the straight fabric is, the straight grain of the line. So I'm just going to cut right along here. Now you do not have to be this fussy if you have lots of jeans or you're not particular about sizes. You're going to do a uh, maybe a crazy quilt or do pillows, whatever. Um, I'm just showing you the way to get the most out of the fabric that you have. So we have this piece of fabric here. Again, we have 28 inches. Let's double check again. And we easily have, oh, just by the by a thread, we've got seven inches there, so that's great. Now we want to put our straights together and I do want to cut it from this side because this is the shorter piece so I make sure I don't lose anything this needs to go here and I'm going to line up these and 
about like this. Okay, what I'm going to do is get my long ruler to cut across from one end to the other. I'll place my long ruler right along the edge here, and I'm going to measure my seven inches. So my nifty little little ruler here works perfect. So from here I'm going to measure seven inches and from here and that's right on. Perfect. And so I will come back and cut up from there. So I'm going to start down here. I'm going to cut across here my seven inches. Whoops, let's try and get it straight. And I'm going to come this far. Now I'm going to line this up, keeping it nice and straight, and cut this here. I'm going to line this up right here on that edge. And just to make it easy, I'll put it so it lines up with the grid. We've got this straight. I've got my line straight here. And now I have a good length here. I'm going to cut at 14 inches which is going to be at this line right here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I always double check. Measure twice, cut once. I've been burned by that before. And then we're going to do that again. There's my fourteen. And I'm going to line up with this line right here and line that ruler up nice and straight and now i have four rectangles for my quilts and these are already right side up so i have a couple with paint um this piece it's wearing but it's not worn through there are no holes there are no broken threads so i'm not going to worry about that so let's go ahead and get started. Get all your blocks set. If you're going to make this quilt, again, you'll need 51 rectangles that are 7 by 14.